This is a quick review of polynomials and operations with polynomials. This is section P4. And the first problem, we have the trinomial 3x squared minus 4x plus 7 minus 3x times the binomial 7x plus 10. We need to use the distributive property here, and then we will CLT, combine like terms. So um, this first trinomial is in parentheses, but the parentheses really don't have much meaning. So I'm going to lose them. But I am going to distribute 3x times 7x plus 10. Negative 3x times 7x, negative 21x squared. Remember, we're multiplying and the bases are the same. Add those exponents. Negative 3x times 10, negative 30x. Now we're going to find the like terms and combine them and put our simplified answer in descending order, which is standard form. So the x squares come first because our exponents are going to descend. A positive 3 and a negative 21 is negative 18x squared. Mark them off. A negative 4 and a negative 30 is negative 34x. And then finally plus 7. This is our simplified answer. Remember, we're simplifying here, not solving. We only solve when our original problem is set equal to something. Number 2 is a binomial times a binomial. Now, normally we've talked about this in terms of a double distribution. You might see in your homework the acronym F-O-I-L. FOIL stands for first sides, outsides, insides, last sides. It's just an acronym to help you remember to do every part of a double distribution. So let's do the first sides. 5x squared times 2x is 10x cubed. Remember, we're multiplying. We're going to add those exponents when the bases are the same. Outer sides or outer terms, those are going to be the two on the outside. 5x squared times 5 plus 25x squared. Now we're going to do the insides. Negative 4 times 2x, negative 8x. And then last sides. Negative 4 times 5 is negative 20. There are no like terms in this particular um, simplification. So that is our answer. Number 3 is a binomial times a trinomial. So we're still going to do a double distribution. So first the x is going to go all the way through. So x times x squared is x to the third. x times 2x plus 2x squared. x times 4 plus 4x. Now we're going to take the negative 2 through. But this time I'm not going to write them out horizontally. I'm going to vertically stack my like terms here to make it easier in the end. So negative 2 times 2x is negative 2x squared. Negative 2 times positive 2x is minus 4x. Negative 2 times positive 4 is negative 8. Now, when we add the like terms, and the like terms are stacked on top of each other vertically here, something amazing happens. So if I were you, I would put a little smiley face by this problem because we're going to see this again. Our squared terms cancel and our linear terms cancel, leaving us with only x cubed minus 8. This is called the difference of two cubes. We're going to see it again in the next lesson. Number four. This is a binomial being squared. We saw this in the previous video when we were looking at the radicals. So it would behoove you to write it out twice because we are about to square a binomial. And when we square a binomial, we get a PST. 
also known as a perfect square trinomial. A perfect square trinomial. So we're still going to use the FOIL acronym to help us remember that double distribution. So first sides, outsides, insides, and last side. And like we saw in the previous video, when we square a binomial, the middle terms don't cancel. They double. So a negative 6 and a negative 12 gives us, or excuse me, a negative 6 and a negative 6 gives us a negative 12. So 9x squared minus 12x plus 4. That's our simplified answer. Now number 5, hopefully you're remembering what conjugates look like. So we have a binomial times its conjugate. Remember that's spelled C-O-N-J-U-G-A-T-E. One's a sum, one's a difference. And when we multiply conjugates together, now our middle terms will cancel. So first sides, outsides, insides, and last sides. A negative 35, positive 35, they cancel and we get 25x squared minus 49. Hopefully that looks very familiar from Algebra 2 because that is the DOTS, the difference of two squares when we multiply it together. The last problem for this video is a very short lesson because it should be very simple and easy for you all to remember how to do these. We have 2x plus 7 quantity raised to the 7th power and 2x plus 7 the quantity raised to the 3rd power. Now obviously it would take a long time to expand 2x plus 7 to the 7th power. Now what needs to be um, seen here is that we have the same base on the top and the bottom. So if we consider maybe a simpler problem, we'll do it right over here. What if we just had a to the seventh over a to the third? If we're dividing and the bases are the same, we should just subtract those exponents, which is what we're going to do here. 2x plus 7 to the seventh, 2x plus 7 to the third. The quotient is simply 2x plus 7 to the fourth which you can multiply that out, um, it would just be long-winded. So we're going to leave it just like that. And that is your eight-minute review of polynomials.